Today I'm making a pork schnitzel. It is a German dish and you take four boneless pork chops and you place them between plastic wrap and you pound them out. I'm gonna do this before we go to the next step. I'm gonna put them back on my baking rack and then I'm gonna wash them all. And you want them, let's see, a fourth inch thick, which ain't gonna take much. And that's that one right away. I'm going to get a fork. And you can serve them with cabbage and bacon. You can serve them with honey glazed carrots. You can serve them with fermented vegetables, sauerkraut, broccoli. Mashed potatoes is always great. And that's what we're going to serve them with today. My husband's behind me. He's peeling potatoes for us. This is also cleaning out our, our refrigerator, using things up that we have at a homestead because we're in a no spend month. We're in a freezer clean out. I'm gonna put this on that rack. I'm gonna wash all these pork chops and, and clean this hole up and then I'll bring, bring you guys back. Okay, I've got my pork all washed. So we want one sprig of thyme. We're using this to roast. I got my oven preheated because I'm doing my own breadcrumbs. You need breadcrumbs. You need about, it says four cups. I'm not gonna use four cups. And right here, I'm gonna add two eggs. You're gonna have three bowls going. Okay, to the flour, you're gonna salt and pepper it, and it requires for salt um, don't say. It just salt, says salt and pepper. Okay, so we're adding a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm going to whisk that first. We're going to make a dredging station. Okay, then to the eggs, we are going to add the milk to the eggs. And the milk is a half a cup. This is Dollar Tree milk. So we're gonna whisk that next. And then when the bread comes come out, or when they get done, then we're gonna do that, but I can go on to the next step while I'm waiting for it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on the eggs as well. They want you to season everything. And I already seasoned the breadcrumbs. You're gonna re-season your food afterwards too. All right. We'll move you over here. I'm gonna start with getting the thyme all cooked. There's my pork chops right there. And I have three dredging stations, which the breadcrumbs are not ready, so. I'm gonna get a plate out. They suggest underneath paper towel. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna aim you right over here. So, gonna need another bowl for the breadcrumbs. And I need a plate to put that all on with a paper towel. So 
So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to move these two. We're going to get the butter and oil into the pan with the thyme. Okay, it says two tablespoons of oil and two tablespoons of butter. So. I haven't turned my stove on yet. And I'm using avocado oil. That's my oven. So we're going to turn the stove on. Um, also, you need lemon wedges, which I have from the other day. So um, we are going to infuse the thyme into the oil. It needs to be on a medium high heat. And I'm going to add the thyme and two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to save the rest of this for the potatoes. So I'm going to cook that as soon as it starts. I'm going to look at the clock. It's 309. And I'm going to infuse that thyme into the butter and oil. That's going to go on your pork. Then when this cooks a little bit, then you're going to remove it. While that's cooking a little bit, I'm going to slice up my lemon pieces. Okay, I can smell it already. Okay, I'm gonna stop my timer now. 311. I'm gonna check, check my breadcrumbs because I don't want them overcooked. Oh, they already are. Okay. So that's good. That went that quick. Okay, you can hear it sizzling now. We only need one minute and then we remove it. We got one minute and I'm going to take it out and put it on a plate with my lemon pieces that I've already cut. And we're ready to take it out. So we're just going to remove it. We're going to put it on our plate with our lemon. Now I'm going to turn my butter down just a little bit because I don't want my butter getting completely brown. And we're going to dredge our pork chops. I'm going to move you back. I have a station right here. I'm going to drizzle it in the flour. We're going to shake off as much as we can of the flour. Shake, shake, shake. Now we're going into the egg batter. And then into the breadcrumbs. And hopefully you can see everything. And now into the pan. Starting now. Okay, it's 315, it's gonna to go to 318. I'm gonna keep dredging over here while these cook. This is a medium high heat, I'm a number five. Okay, we're ready to flip. 
Okay, now this is three minutes for this side. So I'm starting the timer right now. Thyme butter is gonna give so much flavor to this pork schnitzel. I got my potatoes boiling. We're gonna serve it with the fermented vegetables. And I have kimchi out right there. We're gonna serve that with some kimchi and we have broccoli in the microwave. Right there. So we're gonna pull the pork chop. or pull the cutlet. We're gonna put them right on that. We're gonna re-season them. You're gonna serve it with some lemon wedges and the fried thyme, just like so. And you're gonna re-season with salt and pepper. So there you go, pork schnitzel. We're gonna have it with potatoes, broccoli, and fermented vegetables. I hope you enjoyed the recipe.